let us now look at two other important theorems based on triangles the first one here is the basic proportionality theorem and the second one is midpoint theorem well the basic proportionality theorem states that in any triangle if we draw a line that is parallel to one of its sides then that line will divide the other two sides in the same proportion right let's understand this with the help of a simple illustration here so abc is a triangle that we have considered and there is a line pq which is parallel to the side bc right pq here is parallel to bc the line pq is parallel to bc now as per the basic proportionality theorem if we can draw a line that is parallel to one of its sides then that line will divide the other two sides what are the other two sides ab and ac it will divide the other two sides in the same proportion now let's say the line here meets ab at point p and ac at point q so as per the basic proportionality theorem the ratio in which the two sides get divided is same so we can say ap by pb should be equal to aq by qc should be equal to aq by qc so this is what is meant by the basic proportionality here right the simple point is to draw a line parallel to one of the sides of the triangle it will divide the other two sides in the same proportion let's say if we take a line which divides uh, which is parallel to ab right try and draw a line which is parallel to ab let's say this is the line parallel to ab so it meets ac at m and bc at n right this line here we see it is parallel to ab so what do we see since uh, mn is parallel to ab we can say that the ratio in which the two sides are getting divided will be same so am by mc will be equal to uh, bn by nc bn by nc right so that's the application of the basic proportionality theorem and the next one here is the midpoint theorem which states that the line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle will always be parallel to the third side and its length will be half of the length of the third side let's look at this with the help of a simple uh, example here right so abc is a triangle now let us assume that p is the midpoint of side ab and q is the midpoint of side ac which means p is dividing the side ab into two equal halves right so this is uh, equal ap is equal to pb likewise q is also dividing ac into two equal halves right so the segment aq will be equal to the segment qc now as far as the midpoint theorem is concerned it states when we join the uh, two midpoints of two sides of a triangle we get a line as seen here which will be parallel to the third side the third side here is bc so the theorem states that pq which is the line uh, obtained by joining the midpoints of two sides will be parallel to the third side and pq will be half of the third side it will be half of bc so if we consider p and q right p and q uh, are midpoints of right p and q are midpoints of ab and ac then pq will be parallel to the third side bc and also pq will be half of the third side half of bc so that's about the midpoint here and it can be for any two midpoints right let's say if we consider the midpoint of the side bc let's assume the midpoint of side bc is somewhere here approximately right it is equal to m right the midpoint is m then if we connect uh, qm right the midpoint of ac with the midpoint of bc we'll get a line qm now as far as the midpoint theorem is concerned it states qm will be parallel to the third side which is ab and qm will be half of ab right that's the theorem so qm is parallel to ab and half of ab likewise if we connect these two midpoints p with m right p with m what do we get this line pm will be parallel to ac and it will be half of ac pm will be half of ac so all these are based on the midpoint theorem right so we get that uh, qm parallel to Uh, again let me tell you m is dividing bc in the same uh, ratio right these two are equal parts so qm will be parallel to ab and qm would be half of ab likewise the third part here uh, is pm right pm will be parallel to ac and it will be half of ac pm will be half of ac so that's about the midpoint here and also one important point that i would like to mention here is that if we obtain if we look at the midpoints of the sides ab bc and uh, ac what do we get p q and m when we connect all these three we get a triangle right which is p q m p q m now the point to be noted here is the area of the triangle p q m will be 1/4 of the area of the triangle abc 
which means the triangle obtained by joining the midpoints of the three sides will be one fourth in area of the original triangle ABC here. So we can conclude that area of triangle PQM PQM will be one fourth of the area of the triangle uh, ABC right well this is not midpoint theorem but an important conclusion that we need to remember which states that uh, when we obtain a triangle by joining the midpoints of the three sides the area of that new triangle would be one fourth of the uh, original triangle right so that's about the basic proportionality theorem and the midpoint theorem which would help us while solving questions uh, on triangles from geometry